quite a number of the investors says that right, Broadcom should replace Tesla as the Magnificent Seven. So this particular company is not a company to be neglected. So Broadcom, what does it do? Let me explain to you as simple terms as possible. So I will explain to you in layman's terms. So Broadcom, right, they got this particular slogan called connecting everything. They say that Broadcom, it is connecting the whole entire world. So what do they mean by connecting? Let me explain to you the picture and you will see why I think it's the next NVIDIA. Okay, they talk about access, service provider, and also a data center. So this is a picture that you remember first. Huh? Basically, when you text your friend on WhatsApp, when you call for a taxi, you can see here, when you actually uh, connect from business to business, send email, all this, right, the data is moving. All right, when you text a particular WhatsApp, say, hey, shall we meet up this Thursday? How did this information go to your friend's handphone? Okay, it is actually through network and Broadcom is a king in terms of the network chip making. This company is extremely strong, that's right. So please take note of this. Uh. Now, let me explain to you the business model of Broadcom, right? When we invest into a business, it's important to understand what they are doing. You can see that roughly, they have two big portions, infrastructure software and semiconductor solution. Before we go into details, I want to explain to you something. They don't create their own chips. Meaning you say they don't manufacture uh, like TSM or Intel. They have this thing called foundry, they are factory. They don't really have those big factories. What they have is designer. They are the brains. They design how the chip is supposed to be. They design the software. Software don't really need to create using a foundry, right? They design the particular, I would say, the ideas behind it, okay? 